Well, after quite a soggy start for some parts of the area on this Thursday, we'll finish it off at least for the evening hours with mainly dry conditions. Some rain could come back at us later tonight, but we'll keep that cloudy sky. And as we look to the south, we'll keep an eye on what's left of Imelda. That will provide some heavy rain as the remnants move to the north for the weekend, especially Saturday afternoon through much of Sunday. Here's a look at exact track. And again, as we go through our evening, not much to talk about overnight, though, rain could start developing. We could even even see it farther west or I should say farther east than you see here coming in from the west. So uh, don't count out some showers or thunderstorms during the overnight. They'll get out of here tomorrow morning. So Friday afternoon we'll be back to some sunshine and warm winds coming in from the south. That'll get our highs into the 80s and with the humidity it'll be feeling like about 90 or so and that might be enough heat and humidity to spark a few isolated showers or thunderstorms as we get into the evening. But don't let that cancel any of your football watching plans during the daytime high temperatures spanning the 80s from the low 80s along Highway 20, mid 80s along Interstate 80 and south of I-80. We've got highs into the mid and upper 80s. And again, these are the areas that will especially feel like the low 90s or so. Highs toward the middle 80s here in the uh, Metro Quad Cities with partly cloudy skies. After those thunder showers uh, from the early part of the day move on out and there are those heat indexes 85 to at least 90, maybe the low 90s. Here comes the wet weekend. Have some alternate plans if you were planning on doing something outdoors. 80 on Saturday, but in the afternoon the rain starts to build and that lasts through Saturday night into much of Sunday with a cooler high of 73. Fall arrives on Monday, a nice sunny day, and then we could see some slight rain chances Tuesday through Thursday with highs back to the 70s.